The NFL offseason is here, and we're going to be breaking it down every single day on this channel. If you love the New York football giants, hit that thumbs up icon right now. Our goal is to get to 1,000 likes on today's show. Haven't got there this offseason. Let's make this the one. Welcome into Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate everybody for stopping by. We're going to answer questions from subscribers on today's show. If we didn't get to your question today, make sure you subscribe and join us next week. Patrick Clark on the $2 Super Chat. What's up, man? What's your best case scenario pick at number six? Best case scenario is one of the top three quarterbacks fall to number six. I don't think that will happen. I think Caleb Williams is going to go one and Drake May and Jane Daniels will go two and three. But if Daniels or May falls to six, that would be perfect. If you're sticking at six, I don't think they will be there. I'm going to go with Joe Alt. I'm going to go the offensive lineman. You win in this league, it starts at the point of attack. It starts at the line of scrimmage. I would go offensive line. I think Joe Alt is a can't-miss prospect. I think he is going to be wearing a gold jacket one day. Lewis Tank Dickens with $10 Super Chat. Appreciate you, LTD. If we don't trade up for Caleb Williams or Drake May, I'd still go with Alt. Xavier Leggett and Rattler in the first two rounds. You guys know I love Spencer Rattler. Uh, I think he's a third or fourth round guy. Xavier Leggett, though, man, he is a beast. When you go and watch, when you go and watch the Spencer Rattler highlights, Leggett is everywhere. He is absolutely everywhere. He plays bigger than he is. Came in at six foot one at the Senior Bowl. Uh, he can go up and get it. He is your true outside receiver. I think he's going to be a stud. And if you can walk away with Joe Alton round one and Leggett in round two. That would be an A-plus first two rounds for the New York Giants. Gilly says, will J.J. McCarthy drop to the second round? I don't think so. I don't think that J.J. McCarthy is going to drop to the second round. The more I talk to people in the know, I hear that he is climbing up draft boards, and I think he'll be off the clock before we get to pick number 25. I think J.J. would be a perfect round two quarterback for the Giants. Sit behind Daniel Jones for four to five games, then Bench Daniel Jones, and then hand the keys over to McCarthy. Um, I just don't think he's there in round two. I think Penix is more likely to actually be on the clock when the Giants are picking with the 39th pick. Joe G, do you think signing a veteran quarterback like Minshew or Tannehill would help or hurt DJ? I think it would help the Giants. I don't really care if it helps or hurts Daniel Jones, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think Daniel Jones is a franchise quarterback. I don't think Daniel Jones can win you a Super Bowl. Um, so I don't really care what it does for him, and he's off this team uh, by this time next year. I'm not the only veteran. I would bring in a veteran like Jacoby Brissett, maybe, but uh, I'd love to have Tyrod Taylor back, but I think the Giants burned that bridge when they put DeVito in the game over him. Go draft a rookie. Go draft a rookie and restart the clock. NYG season is moving off of Kafka saying they'll move up for a QB. Well, they haven't moved off Mike Kafka, and they're not going to move off Mike Kafka. Mike Kafka will not be fired. The only way that Mike Kafka is not the offensive coordinator for the New York Giants next year is if he gets a head coaching job next year. And all the head coaching jobs are filled outside of the Washington Commanders at this time of filming this video, which is Wednesday, January 31st. Kafka will be your offensive coordinator next year, unless he quits. Nope. So I've heard we can trade Slayton. If anything, we could trade Waller and Slayton for some good picks. Why cut them? I don't think Darren Waller has much trade value. Nope. Um, we traded a third-round pick for him, and he was hurt again and played 12 games. I think at best you'd get a six-round pick for him. I think maybe you'd get a fifth or a fourth for Slayton, and I think that's even wishful thinking. Um, when teams know you're going to cut somebody, their trade value goes down. It goes down. I don't, I don't think you're getting a good draft pick for Waller. And maybe for Slayton, you get a fourth or a fifth rounder. Maybe. And that might be ambitious. We're going to get to more questions coming up in a second. But check out our sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. It's the number one way to play daily fantasy. And I already got my lineup punched for the big game. I'm going to go with their freebie option. They always have awesome deals like this. I'm going to go with more passing yards for Patrick Mahomes. That is set at half a yard. I think Pacheco is going to get in the end zone. I think McCaffrey is going to be a big part of the Niners passing game. Give me more 
on all of these player stats for the Super Bowl. You can roll with my picks or fade my picks, but if you're going to play daily fantasy sports, do it with prize picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. I'll make sure all that information is clickable down in the comments and description of today's video. More questions coming up on this mailbag. Gilly Gilly says the streets, the streets seem to be favoring Knicks a little more lately. You see an option for us. Um, I have heard that Bo Nix did not look good at the senior poll. I heard that Michael Penix looked way better than him. I'm not a Bo Nix guy. Um, if I rank my quarterback prospects, it's K.O. Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, J.J. McCarthy, Michael Penix. Um, and then maybe Bo Nix sixth. Um, I don't. I don't think that. Uh, I hope the Giants aren't interested in Bo Nix. I really don't. I don't think he's all that good. Ox says, "Hey, Marshall, is it possible to restructure DJ's contract? Please explain in detail with the causes and effects." At this point, there is no reason to restructure his contract because you're just pushing money into the future. Accept your loss, take your medicine, and move on. Daniel Jones will be on the Giants next year. He will cost you $47 million. The worst contract in the NFL. You will cut him, though, after the 2024 season, and then he will have a dead cap hit of $22 million. Maybe you could stretch out that $22 million so it doesn't all hit you in 2025, but you could stretch it out maybe eight years, uh, three years, probably seven, seven point three million million each year. But I think it's just better to take that all at once and move on and Michael Cook, do your homework on Wales fullback, Luis Reese Zamet. If I had to watch Will Rattler, it's your turn. Is this a real person? If it is, I will check them out. You want me to watch fullback film? Okay. Um, we're getting our stats. I've never heard of this player. He's a British rugby player. Michael Cook, I will check him out. I will check him out. Brian Brown. Get DJ a decent O-line, and let's see. He has one more year. I'm holding out hope for him. That's fine. Uh, I don't need to see it anymore. My eyes don't lie. I've watched him for five seasons. I don't need to see anymore. I don't, I, if everything has to be perfect for him to succeed, he's not the guy I want. I want the quarterback that can overcome stuff. I want the quarterback that can elevate teammates. I ain't, I ain't seen him do it yet. Roller coaster, Mike. You think the Giants should trade up to draft the offensive lineman from North Dame and Penn State? Uh, I don't think you're going to have to trade up if you want Joe Ald at pick number six. Olufashano will probably be there as well. If you want to walk away with this draft with your sixth overall pick being an offensive lineman, you could just take him. Uh, I think Alt will be there, and I think Olufashano will also be there. Uh, I don't think you'll need to trade up for either of those guys. I think Joe Alt, uh, I think Joe Alt would be a home run pick for the New York Giants. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're on our way to 43,000 subscribers, the fastest growing Giants YouTube page in almost, I mean, it is the largest Giants YouTube page on YouTube. Uh, other channels have more subscribers, but they do other content. When it comes to sole Giants content, we are number one on YouTube when it comes to subscribers. Fam, self-made, says, we getting Xavier Leggett the next DK. He's a beast, dude. Leggett is a beast. I'm a big fan of his. Um... I'm a fan. When I go and watch, I watch Spencer Rattler's tape. I watched every throw he made last year at South Carolina. Leggett is everywhere. He's here, he's there, he's everywhere. He's a beast. Zach attack, 58-58. Should we go wide receiver or QB first? Um, I think it's a quarterback. That, that's who I would go first. I would go quarterback over wide receiver. Um, Giants have to fix that. Until you fix... The foundation of the house, there's no sense to get a new roof. There's no sense to get new lights. There's no sense to get new shingles. Fix the foundation. And the foundation of every good football team in this league is a good quarterback. And even the 49ers, who have the best roster in the National Football League, with Brock Purdy, still had to come back from 17 down in the second half of the NFC Championship. Jova! Penix in the second round. I think Michael Penix in round two would be awesome. I actually think that would be a perfect fit for the Giants. He gets to sit for a year. Um, he gets to learn behind uh, Brian 
stable. He gets to learn from Mike Kafka. Uh, I think Penix in round two would be awesome. I really, really do. And I think, I think there's actually a shot that he's there. I want to ask this question. Who do you guys hate the most? What team in the NFC East do you guys hate the most? Is it the Cowboys? Is it the Eagles? Is it the Commanders? Type C for the Cowboys, E for the Eagles, W for the Washington Commanders. Anderson Castillo, a $10 Super Chat. We appreciate you. Yo, what's up? I was talking to a friend, and he thinks the next time we go to a Super Bowl, the Giants are going to have a completely different team. And I feel the same way. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I agree, man. And I hate to admit it, but... Um, you don't have a quarterback on a roster that on this roster that can win you a Super Bowl. And I know we've talked a lot about Daniel Jones today, but I think it starts there. I think it starts there, and I don't think the Giants have that. I I don't know. I, we're we're a ways away. We're a ways away. Rip the Band-Aid off and just go fix it. Go fix it. Don't double down on your mistake. Admit you made a mistake and move on. Roller coaster Mike. Marsh, the Giants get Bill Belichick defensive coordinator. Supposedly, Bill Belichick doesn't like the Giants anymore. We heard that as a rumor. Um, I don't think Bill Belichick will coach in this league unless it's a head coach spot. So I don't really think there's really that much stock in putting him there. Christopher, Marsh, what is your take on the ongoing drama with Saquon after hearing his comments? Of helping another team. Are you done with him? No, I'm not done with him. I think a franchise tag or a two-year $25 million deal makes the most sense. I'm not really to go much further than that. Look, it's a business. And if the Giants are allowed to look at other prospects, he should be able to talk about other teams if they don't want to pay him the money he thinks he deserves. Think about your job. If your boss told you we value here and you value here, if you value yourself here and your company values you here, probably look for a new job. Donovan King. I really like Keon, Keon Coleman as a playmaker. He's one of my picks available. I like Coleman as well, but I don't like him at six. I think he's a back half of the first-round guy, and I think he's closer to pick 20s. Um, if Coleman falls to you at pick 39, yeah, you pick him, and you run, and you, you celebrate. Um, I, don't, I don't love Coleman, though, at pick number six. I don't. Make sure you all are following me over on social media, at Marshall Green underscore on Twitter, at Marshall Green underscore on Instagram. Give me a follow. Let's go Big Blue.